back home, would you have this much choice of beautiful younger women to choose from? No, that's the problem, <laughs> you know. I'm sure that if I get back to those sites, it could happen to me again because those girls are really nice looking. And, and they say that there is about 10% of them that are real. So it's like a lottery, maybe get into the 10, into 10%. But uh, working with you is not 10%, it's, uh, I would say 100% if of the girls are real. Yeah. Well, and, and I appreciate that vote of confidence, but you know, the truth is, uh, I'm very um, transparent with our challenges here at Match Guarantee, and it's not 100%. <laughs> it's not, uh, because I've seen it before, so I'd be lying if I said it was 100%. But we do our absolute best, you know, to purge out the ladies with insincere uh, intentions, you know, when they do come up. Because we, we do have situations on dates where you know something happens and she she asks the guy maybe we go shopping or mm. um, maybe i come fly to you for example we had a client uh, maybe I, i'll come fly to you right away mm. and so we, when we question her her motives if it's not i mean with us it just it needs to be love uh connection and family first that's all i mean she can every woman wants a man that can take care of her but that shouldn't be the primary directive if that's the primary director, we purge her from the database. Well, I met about 15 girls so far, mm -hmm. 12 to 15, I haven't counted them. Mm -hmm. And up to now, I haven't seen any girl mm -hmm. that is not real or is or that has some uh, double goal of meeting me other than getting married and seeing if I am a good guy or not, or if I'm fooling her. Of course, uh, in her heart and in her mind, could be something else. But I think most women are like that. You know, they care about you being a professional, being successful. So I find that normal. Mm -hmm. It's not like uh, that's bad on her. No, it's, no. It, it's okay. like uh, we also want a nice looking girl with a nice body. We don't expect to get a fat girl or something like that. That's right. And they want a man that uh, has some money, has some means. Right. Nothing wrong with that. Right. So uh, that's what right. I said 100%. They are real girls, mm -hmm. you know, with good intentions, mm -hmm. very well educated and beautiful. Because that was something else that I had the wrong idea about. I thought that because uh, the girls would not be as young as the ones that I was meeting in. Anastasia site, uh, these girls uh, being 40 years, around 40 years old or 45, they would be uh, not so good looking or maybe fat or with big legs, but I'm seeing them in real life now and man, they are just as beautiful as the young ones. They really are. Nice, I, nice. I like them all. I have met one that I didn't like. All of them are perfect. Almost too much of a buffet of choice, huh? <laughs> yeah, there are some that they are too beautiful, so I go, maybe they are over my head. So that's why, that's the problem, you know, because, uh, yeah. you know, you have to be realistic. I'm 61, uh, and these girls are 43, 45, and uh, they are in good shape. I'm in good shape too, but uh, they are in better shape. <laughs> <laughs> They're in perfect shape. And you know, you bring up a great uh, point, Ronald, that, you know, and what do I always encourage you to do? Trust your gut, right? That, that, mm -hmm. uh, that we need to really feel in our sixth sense, in our gut, that she's into us. For, for us, not for what we can do for her, right? And that just takes mm -hmm. a few dates and just to tap into your inner sixth sense and, and you'll figure it out. Yeah, right? that's how I call it, sixth sense. Yeah. You say trust your gut, yeah. I call it sixth sense. On women, uh, I would call it uh, women's intuition. Mm -hmm. But the sad story is that we don't usually follow sixth sense. And women, I don't know about women, but many times we know that something is wrong and we still keep going. Why? Because they're so beautiful. 
And the beauty really hooks us guys. We're very visual. Well, maybe that's right? part of it. Or, or another part is because you, be, you believe more what you hear and what you see mm -hmm. and not what you sense. Mm -hmm. But uh, the, more what the you sense is more powerful than your eyes than you and than your ears. Yeah, yeah. And Ronald, I, I, I'm a, I must say, I'm, I'm very... Uh, I was, the, the word proud was coming out of my mouth, but I'm, I'm very happy that, uh, that I see you really uh, not being seduced by the beauty as much as I was uh, afraid you would when we first met, you know, because you, mm -hmm. you've been seeing some real raving beauties, but now you're sitting back and you're, you're evaluating all the dates you've had and you're going, this girl is so stunningly beautiful and mm, maybe she's a little too young for me. Is she really going to be there when push comes to shove, you know, at the end of the day when... <laughs> When we start yeah. wilting away, you know, and our teeth decay, as they say, you know, is she going to be there the long, uh, over the long haul? And you're starting to really think about that, not be dissuaded by the beauty as much. And so I really commend you for that. I think it's very wise. Well, well if I was looking for a girl who, whom to go out with for a couple months or five months, then I would choose by the beauty. But I'm looking for a girl who will stay with me my whole life. And I know in 10 years I will not be the same as I am now. So I have to see, realistically thinking, if she would stay with me in 10 years too. Mm -hmm. You know, when uh, I turned 71 years old, she's gonna be 55, then she can stay. Mm -hmm. But if she was 30 years old, probably right now she would be with me and fall in love with me. But in 10 years, she would only be 40 years old and I'll be 70. I mean, things change. There is a saying, you know, that uh, love does no, no age, but lovers aged. A lot of words of a wisdom from this uh, fellow right here, you know. Because it's so easy to get seduced by the young girl and the beauty. But over time, um, yeah, it's, it's a question, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you learn from experience, you know. I wish um, you didn't have to do that. I wish there was a university for uh, looking for your love. but. The university is your life and we all have to go through that and learn and I'm learning I have learned I think uh, I will find my wife very soon mm -hmm. maybe within months maybe yeah. I hope I get a good feeling that you're well on your path to finding her because yeah. you, you have a buffet of choice in front of you of girls that all are interested in you right or not all but um, quite I a would number. say all I don't You'd know say all? sounds I like think. they are yeah uh, okay. Of course, uh, maybe. Oh not. no, not the no. one that you told me was uh, maybe refusing your arm and remember her. No, she's interested in. She's me. still yeah, because she's. Uh, but uh, I think she's kind of rude uh, yeah. and maybe she has a bad temper because from the beginning she kind of pushed me away. Uh, she's been sending me messages and she wants to keep uh, seeing me. Yeah. She wants me to come back to Ukraine, mm -hmm. and so I think uh, she would probably uh, get into a serious relationship with me. Mm -hmm. But I am the one who has changed, because I want a sweet girl, and I don't want any rude girl that would just uh, don't give me love, uh, would just be getting angry at me, yeah. because it was our first date. I, I dated her two times. The first date was okay, but the second date is when I noticed she was rude. She didn't want me to help protect her with my umbrella. And didn't want to take your arm like this. Which... And my arm, she, the first one she took it, but then the second time she pushed me and she said like she was okay. And that's a nice thing, hey, uh, Ronald, is that Back home, would you have this much choice of beautiful younger women to choose from? No, that's the problem, you know. <laughs> and, 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 and now you have such I, a, an amazing choice in front of you. So you can say, you know, this one's rude. I don't feel 
you know, I don't feel close to her. I feel something's off there. Okay, so she's eliminated. And then, and then over the next uh, number of days, you're on the uh, finishing up your, the last of your trip, right? Uh, and you, you, you want to be honing in and going, okay, which is my top couple of choices? And then you're going to go home and continue the long distance relationship, which is the next phase of the journey, long distance. Long distance for a couple months. Yeah. I hope not, not much more than that. Yeah. Which because is great that you can come back so quickly because that, that's important to keep the fire stoked. Yeah, the visa was a problem for me, but now I found out that it's not really a problem yeah. if I come a short time. So, but the real problem back home all over Latin America, mainly in Central America and countries like uh, Ecuador, Peru, is that over here you have 90% of the women are beautiful. Over there, 10%. So Big if you difference. <laughs> yeah. 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 So if you meet a nice woman in, uh, in my country, you don't have much choice. Either you like it, if she's nice, rude, or a little fat, or, or um, maybe she won't love you, but you take your chances and go for it, because otherwise you just end up with nothing, with no one.